Hi guys, this is Shobit. So guys, in this video we will talk about IHTTP context accessor. So this is something uh, which is helpful for you. For example, I'll give you a scenario. For example, if you want to access something inside a service classes, for example, the HTTP context, right? So ideally what you will do, you will create a method pass HTTP context or maybe an object as a parameter and you can access it right but if you want to access without passing as a parameter so this is the way in which you can do that very easily so this is a class and uh, with the help of this you can achieve uh, context inside the service classes or any other classes right so let me quickly demonstrate by a demo so let me create a project so I just need to create a project I'll create a web application sp.net web application I will go and uh, click on next mm, I'll say the name is HTTP context okay and uh, I want it and okay that's fine So let me quickly execute this first. And I need to open a postman so that I can pass some parameter into the headers. In the meantime, I'm just opening the code so we have a controller weather forecast controller and this is something we have one get method right so i'll write something over here so i'll define a variable a and in the variable i'm just asking for the request dot headers and i'm saying uh, show bit just need to put a breakpoint over here and I need to click and try out I need to restart it again since I've already changed my code so here right so here I have I am trying to accessing the context and in the context I will go for the header and ask for the show with value since I don't find anything so it might be an empty right since I haven't defined anything as a show bit in my header so what I'll do I'll I'll go with the postman and replicate the same same thing over here with the headers so this is the base URL which I have and uh, inside this I'm I over here in the header I'll say show bit qualia right so I just need to click on that F10 so here you can see I am able to access the value right qualia is there right so uh, what I will demonstrate to you is I will create a class right so let me quickly create a class so for that purpose i just need to click a new item or maybe click on class over here so i'll create a class maybe uh, i'm saying this is a person class something like that okay so uh, what i'll do i'll create an interface of this person class also okay I've already created interfaces and I just need to create an instance of this class so what I have to do over here is I need to call I HTTP context accessor right so it will ask me to add the using statement so I'll, I'm saying that this is a context right so since I'm passing as a dependency so I have to declare a variable read only 
and uh, this is the context right so here in the context I have to pass the context so what I'll I'll do I'll just create a method this public method public void get context something like that here what I'll do I will define a variable a and inside this I'll try to access the context right I'll show you how we can do that right so this is the dependency which I have created so first I need to register this dependency over here in the in the configure service method so here what we need to do services dot add singleton I'm saying and uh, this is something and the person right so dependency has been done and here one more thing is I need to specify the dependency services dot add HTTP context accessor this is the method which I want because otherwise I'm not able to access it so only this changes is required in this file and whatever your class is there you can put your class over here right this is the one thing and uh, this is the dependency which you are passing over here it's fine as of now and we want to access this class inside our controller so what we want is I need to pass a dependency over here so inside the constructor so this is a constructor right so inside the constructor I just need to pass the I person dependency right and over here person equals to person something like that generate read only files that's good and here here what I need to do I just need to call the method person dot get so since method is not available because I haven't specified this method inside the interface so what I'll do I'll just define it inside the interface right so method is there everything is fine I just need to where person equals to person dot get context right so I'm trying to access this context over here so it is giving me an error I'm not sure why cannot assign a value the type okay so this is something a void type okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna start this and inside this person class I just need to put a breakpoint so that I can figure it out whether I'm getting the context information or not so, okay so I need to execute the same class so it is hitting this person dot context method and here in the context right so here in the context we have all these things right so what I want is I want in HTTP context so HTTP context is available over here right and in the request of this we have a headers right so this is the headers and inside the header you can see we have this show bit along with the values value right so in this way you can access your HTTP context inside any class the only thing you need to do is just you just need to pass the dependency of I HTTP context accessor and this dependency and you have to put this line over here in the configure service method of the startup.cs file and this is the only two things you want and with the help of this you can able to access HTTP context inside any classes right so this is a small video if you have any question concern let me know I'll try to clarify your doubts yeah thanks for watching this video if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you